What's up guys, Kyle Ford here again to talk to you a little bit more about RAID. If you watched my previous video, you should be familiar with RAID 1, but what about RAIDs 5 and 6? Let's tackle RAID 5 first. Previously I mentioned with RAID 1, its primary function was to protect your data against drive failure. This is still true with RAID 5, but with an added bonus of accelerated read and write speeds. That's because it's writing and reading across multiple disks at the same time. Unlike RAID 1, you need at least three disks to run a RAID 5 setup. This is because the data is not mirrored, but written across all the drives at the same time. If you lose one of the drives in a three drive setup, the data is still available on the other two. This is called parity. RAID 5 is a much more efficient way to protect against drive failure, especially dealing with systems with more disks and larger volumes. With RAID 5, you're essentially committing one of your disks for data protection. Remember, with RAID 1, you were losing half of your available storage space to protect your data. In a five one terabyte drive system, you're committing one one terabyte drive for data protection. RAID 5 and 6 are very similar, except RAID 6 has a two drive failure tolerance, but this added protection comes at the cost of losing two disks worth of space for data protection. The performance of RAID 5 and 6 are also very similar when reading data, but when you're writing data, RAID 6 takes a bit of a hit because it has to write the parity data twice. When determining which RAID option is right for you, you need to ask the question of which is more important, speed or data protection. Once again, I wanna remind you guys that RAID is not a backup. RAID protects against drive failures. You're still susceptible to crypto lockers, viruses, fires, floods, etc. To be protected, you need to back up your data offsite. Because building a RAID system with multiple size disks is inefficient, I would never suggest doing that. I would always build my RAID system with the same size disks unless I had no other option. To help plan and visualize your RAID system, Synology's built a really great calculator tool on their website, which I've linked in the description. It's really one of the best tools I've found in all the calculators I've used in the past. I want to thank Synology for providing the brand new DS1019 Plus unit for testing and making this video possible. I'd also like to thank Seagate for including the Iron Wolf disks to keep my data safe. I hope this has been a helpful video for introducing you to RAID 5 and 6. And remember, your data doesn't exist unless it exists in three places. Until next time.